going to talk about the Acumatica Manufacturing Edition. The Acumatica Manufacturing Edition fits in a variety of different manufacturing environments, from make to stock, engineer to order, uh, repetitive job shops, uh, batch processing and make to order, but it also enables you to have a hybrid operation. So in that particular case, you can actually do make to order as well as make to stock as an example, and that's the example I'm going to use. So I'm going to go into sales orders, and I'm going to pick this particular sales order. Within here, you'll notice that I have two different products. I have a AM base, which is a base unit, and I have a AM PCB, which is a printed circuit board. Now within here, you'll notice that I have a production order type and a production number, so I can actually create a production order directly from a sales line item from the sales order screen. So in a true make to order sense, that's what this is going to do. The second line item, you'll notice I do not have a production order. That's because I'm going to let MRP plan this particular item. So you'll notice I need 100 of these. I only have seven on hand. So when MRP goes out and looks to see what, what all the demand and the supply coming in and from, it's going to create a planned production order for me for this particular product, in this case, a printed circuit board. But from here, anywhere you see the, the blue, I can hyperlink directly into that particular production order that I created. Now you'll notice that this is the base unit that was on the sales order. You'll notice that the constraint date and the start and end date are the same on 621. The 621 date is actually coming in from, I need to ship this by the 22nd and which means I have to have this completed in time to get it out to my customer. Now also within here, you'll notice this references tab ties this back directly to that particular customer, that sales order, and that sales order number as well as that sales order line number. So within here, I've tied this directly back to that particular sales order, true make to order environment. Now on the make to stock side, from an MRP standpoint, I can actually come in and see what I have for my particular PCB board, and which is, was the example that we had. And you'll notice that I have uh, demand for these out here, and I have you know demand in different places. But so as MRP went down and ran through, this is not in the make to order because it takes into account any production orders that are already out there. It looks at any purchasing out there as well, and it runs through the MRP regen process and comes back and tells me this is what you need to go ahead and produce in order to make your stock. Now within the stock side, you have the capability to set up different reorder points and safety stocks. So if I look at my PCB board, within the inventory side, on the replenishment piece, I have a safety stock of 50. So I always want to maintain 50 within my inventory file. So once I fall below 50, MRP is going to recommend that you make more for your stock because you've, you've missed that safety stock point. Same thing with reorder point as well. If you care for a deeper dive demonstration based on your own organization's functionality and requirements, please reach out to your local Acumatica reseller or contact the number you're seeing up on your screen or via info at acumatica.com.